What is up guys? Welcome back to another GOT showcase. Today we have probably one of the most annoying and uh, powerful teams in the entire league and that is the Burger Kingler coached by Merc or Mr. Murkrow. If you haven't checked him out, definitely do so in the description down below. He's considered like Shoddy to be one of the top five, I believe, um, league battlers of the Aorus metagame. So that being the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Gen 6 metagame. So definitely go check him out. He is a crazy good player. Uh, we are actually facing him week, uh, not week, but quarterfinals of the playoffs of the GPC. So right away. And he has a pretty scary team there as well. So as you can see, uh, it's pretty OU ori oriented actually. He has Megalopony, Tyranitar, Talonflame, Heracross, Sandslash to pair with the uh, Tyranitar, which is actually not that bad. And uh, finally, we have Rotom Moe. It is a choice spec set. I considered changing the uh, the Rotom Moe on here. I actually even uh, added all his nicknames to these. But um, I considered changing this because I don't really like the speed tier. That's the big thing for me, uh, is that 271, like this works in UU, but in OU, it's a little bit uh, underwhelming. Uh, especially with this special attack stat, like that's not that strong. Mega Alakazam hits close to there, like you know, it's it's not it's not too powerful, and the coverage is it seems good, but it's not that great either. So uh, I think I might change this. Uh, what could I run instead? Could I run a physically defensive variant? Let's go, let's go see the Smogon sets. Let's see what we have here. We have uh, in the cut and in the cut <laughs> choice scarf choice specs. Uh, let's see what UU has to offer. Uh, we have another choice spec set there, another choice scarf set. Uh, we have no uh, physically defensive variants, so that's uh, kind of odd a little bit to me. But uh, I think we can make it work if we do uh, if we pull one of these, you know, just give it max defense, make it a, a good pivot, uh, things like that. About what Rotom Wash is, you know, uh, we'll do that, and then this it's our physically def defensive Rotom Mo. We'll uh, we'll rock with that, and instead of Trick, we'll give it Will O Wisp, so we can burn some stuff. And uh, Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Leaf Storm seems like still a pretty good set of moves. I don't really want to switch it up for Pain Split. Uh, doesn't really work too well on Rotom Mo, so I'll keep it this way. Uh, Choice Specs Thunderbolt can break uh, Superior's sub, but I have other things to deal with Superior as long as rocks aren't up. So if we can get off some rapid spins, we should be good to go. We'll keep it this way, I think, and uh, we'll find a couple of games. Let's see how it works out. Uh, I did try out the team before, and it... Uh, it kind of worked, yes and no. <laughs> so, uh, we got the uh, standard core of Mega Gallade and Bisharp, like the original Aura's core. But uh, what I'm actually going to do, guys, I'm just going to pause it really quickly because I forgot to get water and I'll be right back. Oof. Okay, that feels a lot better. All right, so let's uh, let's pick a lead. I like uh, Megalopony as a lead. I think it just has a great lead matchup against pretty much everything except for Mega Gallade, uh, which I think he might actually lead with. So, uh, what I want to do instead... He doesn't have a good Megahorn switching on his entire team. Let's lead off with uh, this. Okay, he actually leads off with Thunderous, which is a little bit surprising. Uh, I'm going to go out into uh, Rotom Mo, which is weak to HP Ice, but I can't see him firing that off right here. And he doesn't have a ground type, so that's pretty much a free Volt Switch for me. He does go for Thunder Wave, as expected, and uh, we will just Volt Switch right on out here. He does go for the HP Ice, does about half. We're going to get off this Volt Switch right now. That does a clean amount of damage. And uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to go into Lopany, and we're not going to Mega Evolve. We're just going to stay in regular, and we're going to go for the Fake Out right here. Uh, now, I know that I'm not gaining the speed as a result, which is a little bit... It's it's not great, <laughs> but he's not going to switch anything in that would die to a Mega Lopany's High Jump Kick. So what I want to do is I want to avoid being paralyzed. Uh, that's the game plan right here, as we do flinch him. And I don't think he's going to go for Thunder Wave. I think he's just going to attack. Uh, so I could also pull a switch out into uh, into Titar right here, which is what I might do. I really don't think he's going to go for the Thunder Wave, seeing as I didn't Mega Evolve. So yeah, let's go into Titar. Uh, we do have the Choppleberry for the Focus Blast. We'll see what he wants to do. He does just go straight for the Focus Blast. Now he has to hit another one. <laughs> so uh, that did 37%, so the next one would indeed knock us out. They're going to have to watch out for that. Uh, I do kind of want to keep this, though. Uh, don't, I can't switch back into Lopany, that's for sure. Um, you know what, let's just go for rocks. He does land the next Focus Blast, that's fine. Uh, now we're gonna go out into Lopany, we're going to Mega Evolve, and we're gonna click Fake Out. Uh, because I do have the Quick Attack on deck, so he can't paralyze us, which is very nice. So that's, uh, that's gonna work out for us. We are going to get off this damage right here, very nice. And now we're gonna go for the Quick Attack, knock him out, and, uh, we're faster than everything now, so that's really nice. Uh, we do knock out Weavile, of course, Superior with High Jump Kick, I think. 
Uh, Latios is probably going to come in after this because there's nothing else that really checks me too hard. Uh, I think if I go to the calc here and check out Gallade, I believe it's can t it can take one return, I'm pretty sure, uh, from Lopany. Mega. Uh, one return? Yeah, it definitely can. It, can it only takes 65 to uh, 76. So, yeah, that's uh, that's not going to be in our favor right there. But uh, I have switch-ins to Gallade. Switch-ins in quotations. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, but um, he's he's got a very hard time against this Pokemon. I'm sure he wanted to paralyze it like really badly. Uh, he's gonna go out into Latios. This is fine. Uh, what I can do is just go out into. You know what, I'm going to pull a switch into Sandslash here because it's not too useful anymore. Uh, on his Draco Meteor, actually, that he drops. Wow, okay. That's pretty impressive that he went for that. Um, I'm going to go out into Talonflame now because we are a Spit F set. And I could start bulking up if I wanted to, actually. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do because if he goes for another Draco Meteor, then I can just roost off the damage on the following turn. Uh, he's actually going to pull out a switch into Superior on my bulk up, which is great because now we get off a free Acrobatics and we knock this thing out. Uh, this thing is dealt with, which was not a huge problem, but it would have been annoying had it gotten behind a sub. Uh, and nothing really wants to switch into this right now. I'm sure that crit didn't matter unless he was like a full Fizz Def set. That's the only way it would have uh, ever mattered. Uh, Weavile can definitely come in here. That would be a little bit threatening, I would say. Uh, but it has to go for knockoff, so... Uh, well, Icicle Crash, actually. Bisharp comes in, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go for Will-O-Wisp, because we are faster than this. And uh, he can't Sucker Punch me if I Will-O-Wisp. His knockoff is gonna do nothing, and Iron Head is resisted, plus we're at plus one. So, this should be fine. We'll see if he's Lumberry as well. I can Will-O-Wisp him twice, though. Granted, of course, that we connect both. Uh, but Lopany is looking even more and more threatening now. As long as I can get off a little bit of damage on the Gallade. Uh, also, Scarf Heracross can just come in with uh, Mega Horn or even knock off and just sweep up. So, that's uh, that's that should be fine. Uh, we always have the... Uh, okay, so we missed the first Willow, unfortunately. He's going to go for knock off, but that's not actually going to do anything thanks to, uh, thanks to the bulk up and uh, having no item. And we are going to Wisp again as we see no Lumberry. He goes for Stealth Rocks, actually. Okay, this is fine because I can just go for another bulk up right here. And then uh, Weavile won't be able to take me out with an Icicle Crash at that point. Because we will have enough bulk to, uh, to live it. He's just going to go for another knockoff. He's just going to let me uh, continue, continue to bulk up. And he does forfeit. He realizes that this just sweeps him. So that's uh, going to be a good game on the first one. We might be able to get three if it's quick. Uh, I would like to get three. We haven't gotten three on one of these before. So we'll see what we can do. Uh, sacking Sand Slash was, I think, definitely the best play. It wasn't doing anything. We actually have uh, what looks to be like a league team. <laughs> <laughs> that we're against also um with d knight potentially no mega Deancey plus d knight plus keldeo plus garchomp unless it's a an open league like like mine free of, of a point system durant definitely puts in work it's a very threatening pokemon gotta watch out for that uh i would like to burn that as soon as possible and i think my best lead here is probably going to be rotom as he leads off with dragonite so this is fine uh i, I am physically defensive so i will just go for a will-o-wisp uh, he doesn't have a Magic Bouncer yet on his team. He goes for Draco Meteor, actually, and misses, and we miss Will-O-Wisp, so a little unfortunate on both ends. Uh, now that I know that this thing is probably a uh, mixed attacker, I'm going to go into uh, Titar, because we can take the Draco Meteor. We'll also break the scale with the Sand if he's not Leftovers. Even if he has Leftovers, it'll break. Goes for a Fire Blast. Uh, doesn't, is going to do very little. He's going to take Life Orb Recoil, so he is not Leftovers. That's very nice to know. He could have EQ, but I am just going to go for Stealth Rocks right here, as Keldeo is going to come in. Very threatening Pokemon right here. Uh, not something that I can really switch into comfortably, except with Rotom Mo. Rotom Mo can, can come in on this. As he goes for the Secret Sword, uh, that that does not look to be specs uh, from that damage and I do see a ground type so I am just gonna go for Will-O-Wisp right here as Garchomp does come in and uh, we are able to burn it this time awesome and uh, he already showed to have uh, he didn't show to have stealth rocks yet actually so I think he's going to go for them right here we're actually still choice specs I just noticed I'm locked into uh, to Will-O-Wisp so I got to change this to leftovers uh, I might use this team in the future. It's kind of a cool team. Somebody already asked me for it from a previous battle, so... Uh, I'm gonna go into, um... What do I go into here? Because Sand's about to end. That's the problem. Uh, like, uh... What do I like? What do I like? I like Heracross here, except he has a Hoopa. And we know Hoopa. We know it's a ghost. We're not gonna make that mistake. A lot of people make that mistake, but we're not going to. Uh, we're actually gonna go into Sand Slash, because Sand Slash can take any hit from this thing, especially Burned. He goes for Fire Blast. Never mind. Okay, so he's also Life Orb, it seems, uh, and that did quite a bit of damage, so not really something I want to stay in. 
against, uh, I'm going to go into uh, Titar right here to get back up my sand. And we do have the Ice Beam on deck. He's going to go for Stealth Rocks this time, so good play. I can spin them away later, so it's not a huge deal. He does have a, um, a Hoopa, but I have Knock Off, so it should go straight down to that, no problem. Um, I am just going to Ice Beam right here. He's going to go for the Earthquake. It's burned, so it's not a huge deal. It doesn't do much, even with the Life Orb. And we're going to be able to knock out the Garchomp with a, an Ice Beam right there. Awesome. So Keldeo is going to come in now. Uh, very threatening. We still have the Choice Specs, so yeah, uh, about that. Um, what do I switch into this? I think he would just go for Secret Sword and not a Water Move because I still have the Rotom. So uh, I could also just let this go down to get off the Spin. But his Deancey is still alive. That's the problem. I don't have Steel Wing or anything like that. I can't knock it out with a uh, with an Acrobatics, that's for sure. Uh, I don't have a great check to it either. Uh, being that Lopany is not... Well, Lopany can Mega Evolve whenever it wants, but... So this thing is Scarfed. I think it's Scarfed anyway. Um, I'm going to go into uh, Heracross right here, I think, because it doesn't do much, this game. It doesn't do too much with the Durant around and whatnot. He does go for Scald, uh, and he does get the Burn. Now, he doesn't know if I'm Guts or not. But I am just going to go for the close combat right here. Gets off the most damage, and Sand plus Burn will kill us. He does go out into Hoopa, so great play, uh, as he's able to uh, to dodge the, uh, the close combat right there. However, we have a Scrappy Pokemon right here that can hit Ghosts. Uh, and unless he is... Um, unless he is... Uh, what did I want to say? Uh, scarfed, he will not outspeed... Even if he is Scarfed, actually, he won't outspeed Megalopony on the following turn, so... Uh, I can just go out into that. There we go. And now we will go for the Fake Out uh, into Quick Attack. Should be able to knock this thing out with Sand. Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, as it, it does not look like it's going to. But Return is definitely going to take this thing out. And down goes Hoopa. So now the next time we get up Sand, which I think is going to be right now, actually, um, against this Deancey, we will... Uh, be able to spin away the rocks because uh, Talonflame is looking like my only way to check Keldeo right now So I am just going to sack off Titar right here to get back up sand and then we'll go for earthquake into uh, He actually goes for rock polish. Wow. So great play right there uh, Nothing I could really do about that. And I think he actually just sweeps us now. This is bad uh, Yeah, he's faster than us. I'm gonna go for stone edge There's the moon blast um, yeah, there's nothing I can really do. He's faster than uh, than Sand Slash. I'm going to go out into Lopany because I I think he's not Protect if he's Rock Polish more than likely. We're going to go for the Fake Out. No, he is Protect. Okay. All right. So he's Protect, Rock Polish, Moon Blast, and Diamond Storm. That's what that means. Uh, now, we are physically defensive on Rotom. I don't think that's going to matter <laughs> at all. Uh, we'll go for a high jump kick here. We don't have another play. And uh, yeah, I think I just lose to this. Wow. Crazy. All right. So we'll go for... Uh, for a Leaf Storm and try to live. That's not going to happen, clearly. And now the Sand's down, so yeah, that's going to be... Uh, unless he misses a Diamond Storm. But even that doesn't matter. I'll never be able to kill him with Acro, even if I bulk up a couple of times. Does just go for the Diamond Storm. Down goes Talonflame, and that is going to be GG. We will forfeit. And I am going to get another one, because we're at 13 minutes, so we can still keep this relatively short. Uh, try Honesty. I love Billy Talent, man. They're one of my favorite bands. Very nice name right here. Uh, and uh, yeah, so we have a Venusaur, <laughs> plus everything that checks Talonflame. Tyranitar, Magnezone, and Skarmory. Crazy. Okay, so uh, I like Sand Slash's matchup here because it does have Rocks, uh, Stone Edge for the Talonflame, uh, Earthquake for the Magnezone, and the Tyranitar. I just need to get rid of the Skarmory if possible. I also noticed that he does not have a Ground type, so I can freely Volt Switch around on him, which is exactly what I'm going to do now that we're Leftovers. He's going to lead off with Skarmory, which is great, as we'll be able to go for a... Uh, I actually want to go for a Will-O-Wisp on turn one. Because if we catch the T-Tar coming in, that's amazing. That thing gets burned, and then it's uh, very uh, useless, basically. As uh, we are going to get off the burn on the T-Tar. Very nice. And uh, we're going to go for the Volt Switch right here. If he goes for Pursuit, that's absolutely fine. T-Tar normally runs 197 speed. So we should be able to get a clean switch out into Sand Slash right here. He does go for the Pursuit. That's absolutely fine. Like I said, Sand Slash is going to come in. And what I'm going to do is actually go right back out into Rotom. Trying to catch the Skarmory. Going to go for a Volt Switch on the following turn and then play it off from there. So Skarmory is uh, not going to come in, actually. Venusaur comes in here. Now, Venusaur typically doesn't run enough speed to outspeed this. So I'm just going to go for a Volt Switch here. Uh, get off some Chip with the Sand. And uh, I don't have a great switch to this, but I do have a, uh, a Heracross, which can come in quite easily. Goes for the Sludge Bomb. Uh, does not get the poison, luckily. 
And uh, I really want to just fire off a close combat, but I'm going to go for the knockoff uh, as he actually stays in with his Venusaur and goes for Leech Seed. Okay, that's fine. And I can see a Sludge Bomb coming here, so I'm going to switch out into T-Tar to get up my rocks. That is probably the best idea. He's going to go for a Sludge Bomb, of course. Uh, once again, does not get the poison, which is very nice. We are going to go for Stealth Rocks. He goes for yet another Leech Seed. And I can... Can I expect... Um, I can't expect the uh, the Giga Drain right here, right? So let's go out into Talonflame. Hopefully he doesn't Sludge Bomb. As he does go for the Giga Drain, awesome. He doesn't know what set we are. He does see left. Uh, he doesn't see leftovers or anything, so we could be uh, Sharp Beak. Uh, we could be Choice, Choice Bandit as well. Uh, but from the damage, he should know that this is specially defensive. I'm gonna go for Will O Wisp uh, as Titar does come in, which is absolutely fine. We are going to switch out directly into uh, Sand Slash right here. If he goes for Pursuit, then cool, good job. But uh, I have no other play but to switch out right here. I'm not staying in on a, on a potential Stone Edge. He does get us down to 50%. And uh, once again, I am going to switch right back out into Rotom Cut. Uh, because I cannot allow the Skarmory in for free. And nothing really wants to take a Volt Switch on his team. Except for Magnezone or Venusaur, both of which I have checks for. So Keldeo is actually going to come in here, which is awesome. As we will be able to go for the Volt Switch. Spec Secret Sword will not be able to take us out. And we'll get off a lot of damage on this. He's going to actually go for Scald, play off the burn. Does not get it. We are going to heavily damage this Keldeo. Not really, though. Uh, does he have leftovers? Yeah, he does have leftovers. Okay. So that's good to know. Um, I think uh, just going into Talon is actually my play. And we will go for the Acrobatics right here. As uh, Titar can come in, which is fine. But I think it goes down to Acro plus Burn plus another Acro, if I'm not mistaken. 12... Uh, takes the burn. Uh, he's leftovers, actually. So, what I'm going to do... He might go down to the next one. He might not. He probably has Stealth Rocks as well, if he's leftovers. I can't confirm that, though. Do I really want to switch out right here? Into my Sand Slash to get off a spin? Because he has a Skarmory, right? So, that's the thing. Alright, so if he's not Choice Banded, right? Stone Edge is going to do how much to me? From Tyranitar... Why do I have it open over here? Why do I have my calc open in two places? Hold on. Uh, let's see. Uh, Tyranitar. I don't think it knocks me out straight away. If he's uh, like a support set with Stone Edge against Talon Flame, specially defensive. Uh, if he's burned. Yeah, he still knocks me out, actually. Hmm. That's a little bit annoying. Uh, I can still heal this up later. And I still have my Rapid Spinner. So I'm just going to go out into Sand Slash. He's not going to Pursuit this time, which is awesome. He is just going to go for the Stone Edge. I guess he figured that we would uh, go for something else, uh, like a Roost. And I'm just going to click Knock Off because it catches the Skarmory and it is able to knock out the T-Tar right here. So we're able to get rid of that thing. One less check to Talonflame. Now we just have to deal with the Skarmory and the Magnezone. And then Talonflame can put in some work. But uh, Keldeo is going to come in here. A uh, huge threat that this thing is. And how much did we take from a Scald before? Uh, 26% Meaning that I might not be able to take the, the next one. However Actually, hold on a second. Is this thing scarfed? Keldeo all-out attacker versus Rotom Wash. Uh, not Rotom Wash. Rotom Cut Rotom Cut with uh, 248 HP Scald from specs should be doing 30 to 35 so he is scarfed Okay Good to note so I don't outspeed this. That's what that means. That's basically what I was trying to figure out. We can go into Rotom if I really... I need to keep it for Skarmory, though. That's the big thing. I need to keep that for Skarmory. Alright, um, what is Heracross doing this game? Heracross can go for close combat, get a knockout on the uh, Magnezone, then it gets revenged by pretty much everything at this point. Yeah, I'm going to sack off Heracross... Uh, I feel like it's doing the least. Scald is going to be able to knock us out. I can even confirm that that's not necessarily specs just by going into Heracross, Choice Scarf. Uh, Scald without the Choice Specs does minimum 45. So yeah, that was going to be a knockout one way or another. We'll go back into, um, into Rotom right here. And what I want to do most of all is get off a burn on something. Especially the Venusaur if we can do that. That'd be amazing. Um, and the best news is that he cannot go for a... 
uh, a Giga Drain uh, against us because he won't gain anything back. So I can actually stay in with this after if I want to. Sludge Bomb, uh, of course, would kill us. But is he really going to risk Sludge Bomb when I have things like Lopunny in the back and uh, T-Tar? We'll see. We'll see what he wants to do. I really want to go for, um, for a Willow Wisp right here, though. I don't want to go for a Volt Switch. Uh, we saw that he was leftovers, right? He goes for Icy Wind, yep. And uh, we're going to go for a uh, will o -Wisp right here. We are going to get this thing burned, which is awesome. Uh, and now he can freely Scald. That's the problem. Now he can freely go for Scald. Uh, we did see leftovers earlier, and I said this thing was Choice Scarfed, but it's not. I, I should have just Earthquaked. How much would have that done from Sand Slash? Sand Slash Offensive Earthquake does 50 to 59, so now it knocks him out. Now it definitely knocks him out. I still need to keep this. Um, Talonflame beats this. I'm, I'm focusing too much around Talonflame, I feel like. Because I feel like Lopunny can just win this game. Because this thing isn't scarfed. So I just need to keep T-Tar plus Lopunny, right? And then this thing can beat Skarmory on its own. Uh, because of Thunderbolt and Volt Switch. So yeah, maybe my sack here is Talon, actually. Because if I get the Venusaur burned, then Lopunny can take it on 1v1, I think. I'm pretty sure. We could also alternatively just sack off T-Tar here, go into Sand Slash after and get an Earthquake killed, but the problem is the Skarmory, and I don't want the Skarmory to get up Hazards for free. Uh, if I have to focus so much on spin, I'd much rather let Talonflame go down here to a Scald, as that is what he's going to go for. And we are going to go straight down. And Lopunny outspeeds this, so I could actually just go for a fake out into return combination. Should be good. Keldeo comes in super low now, so we should be fine. Uh, Skarmory can definitely come in here, for sure, and get up hazards. But hazards don't bother me too much anymore, now that Talonflame is gone. Yeah, I think that sacking Talonflame was the correct play, because I have uh, two things faster than this technically, with Sand Slash in the sand. So, I don't know. It depends. We'll see. This thing is definitely a threat. Everything, Every time it comes in on something slower, it basically gets a kill. Skarmory is going to come in on the fake out. Probably should have gone for high jump kick. We'll see how much this does. 6%, that's nothing. He has leftovers. Uh, I am just going to go hard into Rotom right here. Uh, if he doubles into Keldeo, he has to go for an Icy Wind to knock me out on the following turn. He is going to go for Defog, actually, and get rid of the rocks, which is not too bad because we still have uh, T-Tar sitting in the back. I do just want to go for a Thunderbolt right here. Because I don't know if he's going to stay in on the Volt Switch to Roost. Uh, he's going to go into Magnezone. Okay, so good play. We do resist both of this thing's stabs. And he's leftovers as well. Is everything on his team leftovers? Like, what the heck? Uh, I'm going to go out into Sand Slash right here. Because I expect, like, a Volt Switch or something. He goes for a Substitute. Okay. Uh, this thing shouldn't outspeed me in theory. Uh, we'll just go for EQ here. Knock out his Sub. Let's see what he does. He goes for a Hidden Power, probably Ice. Okay, we are leftovers as well, though. And I'm just going to go for knockoff, trying to catch the uh, the Skarm. Nothing else really wants to switch in. If Talonflame comes in, it loses its item. Uh, and I doubt he'd stay in on an Earthquake, knowing that we're faster. So, we'll see, though. We know that T-Tar can switch in on this now. He's actually going to go out into Keldeo on a potential Earthquake. Uh, he's going to lose his leftovers, so he's going to be taking extra little burn damage every turn. Now, again, I don't have a switch to this. <laughs> this is the problem. Um, and I can't let Rotom go down now. Definitely not, because I have nothing to check the Skarmory anymore. Um, okay, so Magnezone can only Flash Cannon this. Uh, Lopunny knocks it out. And every time I predict the Skarm coming in, I could always go into um, Rotom on the following turn. I think just sacking this is the play. Yeah, we'll sack this. He goes for the Icy Wind. Good play. Trying to catch the Rotom. We'll go into Lopunny. And he's not going to risk his Skarmory on a high jump kick crit, so I'm just going to go for a return. If he actually does that, that's insane. He lets his Keldeo go down, which is great. That's one of his fast mons gone. Now Talonflame's looking like an issue. Unless I get back up rocks. That's uh, it's going to be a big deal. Skarmory's actually going to come in here. I'm assuming to get up hazards of his own. Uh, how much is Magnazone at? I can't remember. Alright, if he goes for Brave Bird, that could be bad. If I switch into Rotom. Because I could definitely take one, but not two. So I don't want to. I don't really want to risk that. Al but I alternatively, I don't want him to get up rocks for free. So I am just gonna go with Rotom. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. He's gonna go for Stealth Rocks, of course. Uh, I'm gonna go for Willowisp because I get something burned in the process, which is nice. 
Uh, we also know that... Uh, is Magnezone faster than us? We're about to find out right now. Uh, when did he... When did he do that? When did he bring in Mag? Uh, after here, right? Thunderbolt, Magnezone. Uh, as it came in, I switched out and then he went for Substitute. So I actually don't know if this thing is faster than me or not. I'm just going to go for a T-Bolt though. Because it gets off a decent amount of damage. As he goes for a T-Bolt himself, that does nothing to us. And coupled with the burn, he is losing this 1v1. Um, he might just go for a sub right here. But I am just going to keep T-Bolting. As if he subs, he's going to be super low. He's going to go for the HP Ice this time. Okay, cool. And uh, I don't know if this thing actually has any coverage for Lopany. Uh, for uh, Titar, I mean. We'll find out right now. But uh, he's definitely faster than us. That's one thing. I'm going to go for a Stealth Rock. If he has Flash Cannon, then we have to rely on Lopany to win this game. He's going to go out into Skarmory. If he gets rid of the Hazards, that's uh, not great. Not bad either, though. We're just going to go for the Stone Edge, see if we can get a crit. We do immediately, which is awesome. He goes for the Whirlwind. Lopany's going to come in here, and I'm going to be able to go for a High Jump Kick. And I have not seen um, Roost yet. There it is. Okay, so he doesn't have any attacking moves. That's what that means. He's just going to start Whirlwinding me out. But he's going to run out of roosts at some point if he keeps doing this i might also miss a high jump kick but like that's that's something i have to deal with he played this very well i think playing with keldeo like that uh and i should have just earthquaked it when i had a chance i sacked off talon flame for actually no reason uh and talon flame would still be alive right now i'd still be able to put on pressure on the venusaur on the uh on everything basically on the skarmory get it burned uh, he's probably going to roost one more time and then start whirlwinding. So I'm just going to go out into uh, into Titar right here. As he goes for Defog. Cool. So now what happens if he whirlwinds me is that Sand is not up. Which is amazing. I'm going to go for the uh, for the Ice Beam. Because I might get a freeze. We never know. Uh, as we are not able to get the freeze. But that still actually did a very good amount of damage. Uh, I'm just going to go for another one actually. As he switches out into Magnezone. Okay. Cool. Uh, now this thing is super low and we're gonna go for stealth rocks uh, i don't know if he has flash cannon if he does he should uh but no he has thunderbolt okay so we're able to get up rocks again and does last mon lopany win no because of talon flame uh but were we just faster just now uh thunderbolt no he was faster and he lived that's really annoying okay um yeah we'll go for stone edge he's gonna knock us out with t-bolt and he's gonna go down and i think talon flame just comes in Actually, if Talonflame comes in right now, that would be perfect. Because I can go for Fake Out into Quick Attack. But he's going to play it safe, and he's going to go out into Skarmory, which is a smart play. Um, how much was High Jump Kick doing before? 42%. And how much did my Fake Out do earlier uh, when I went for it on his Skarm? Gotta look for Fake Out. Fake Out did 6%, so there's no point in going for that unless I get a Crit into Crit. Um, well, I mean, we don't lose anything. Uh, we're gonna go for Fake Out, get 6% off. He's gonna get flinched, and we need a crit. We need the mother of all crits right now. As we do not get it, and he is going to be able to roost. But the thing is, he can't touch me. He can't do anything. The only thing he can do is defog. And get rid of the rocks. Which, I mean, is still a problem, but... I'm gonna go for a return right here. I think he's just gonna keep roosting. Uh, yep. And now we're going to go for a high jump kick and hope that we crit one of the two following high jump kicks. Uh, we do not crit the first one, unfortunately. And I think he's going to be able to set up rocks right here and just kill me with Talonflame, honestly. Uh, he's actually going to switch out into Venusaur. Okay, on the high jump kick. Makes sense. Going to go for the return. He's probably going to go for Leech Seed and then we'll go for another return and knock him out. We actually get a crit on that one. He's going to go for Synth. Uh, yeah, I'm not playing the stall game. We're going to forfeit right here. That's the end of that one. Unfortunately, we uh, we misplayed with uh, switching out into Talonflame. I don't know why I thought his Keldeo was Scarfed. We had seen leftovers earlier in the game. That's my mistake. Things like that happen sometimes, especially when it's uh, 3 a.m. So uh, <laughs> that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to check out Merc in the uh, description down below as well. And I will catch you guys later. Ciao.